Okay, so in 2017, there was a total solar eclipse that crossed the U.S. In 2024, there will be a total solar eclipse that crosses the U.S. Okay, so one eclipse crossing the U.S. is already rare, but it happening twice within seven years is something else. I would say we entered a sort of cosmic portal in 2017 and won't exit it until about 2024. Now, the path of these eclipses cross to form a X over the U.S. The X has a lot of symbolisms, but I'm going to use the Torah for, for right now. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Wheel of Fortune Toro card. It's the 10th Toro card, so it uses the Roman numeral X, at the, which is at the top of the card. Um, this card is going to express the energy of the portal that we entered. Here is a bit of meaning of the card. The will of fortune turns evermore, seemingly to communicate that life is made up of both good and bad times, and that the cycle is one that we cannot control. It is something that is subjected to both kings and workers, and that nobody on earth can avoid what is fated. Okay, so that reminds me of the pandemic. It doesn't matter how rich or poor you are, it may affect you. And it's the same with the social unrest, the riots, the economy, um, the extreme weather, the extreme um, environmental conditions like earthquakes. Um, everyone may be affected during the will of worship. So the on the Wheel of Fortune card, in the four corners, those are zodiac symbols. Um, Toro, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Okay, so Kobe Bryant, he was a legal Virgo cusp. So I sense that the zodiac signs represent the major deaths that are going to happen during this X portal within this seven year period. So I'm sensing that Queen Elizabeth will be the Tauros death, which makes sense as Tauros is about stability, and that death would be destabilizing, at least emotionally. Or maybe it's how Tauros represents Earth or land, so it's referring to um, the Queen's large territory. The Queen of um, the death of Queen Elizabeth would destabilize the common commonwealth realm which she is the monarch over so i sense her death will probably be this fall probably from covid or corona 19 and possibly in september my guess for the aquarius death is harry styles possibly by a crazed fan i'm getting a history repeating itself energy and John Lennon of the Beatles was an Aquarius, just like Harry Styles. So, quartet boy band from England that swept the world. There's like a lot of par parallels there. So, the Scorpio death may be um, Hillary Clinton. I'm not positive about that. Um, sometimes when there's a symbolic death that can supersede um, a real death, and I feel like her losing the election was a symbolic death. That's why she came out in like wearing white the next day or soon afterwards. But it will be a popular figure that is a Scorpio that dies. And these deaths will probably be um, later in like 2022 or 2023. So if we go back to the um, Will of Fortune and Toro card, there's an Egyptian sphinx sitting on the wheel of a car. Now, the paths of these eclipses overlap the town and region of Carbondale, Illinois, which is known as Little Egypt. Um, southern, the southern um, Illinois region is known as Little Egypt. Now, I will post um, a picture why, and you can read why it's called Little Egypt. 
um, is tied to the tales of the ancient Israelites, and there were mounds that were similar to um, built by the Amerindians that were similar to the Egyptian pyramids. Um, I know that there's even saying that there's um, a genetic connection with Armenians to Egyptians. If you look up the um, haplogroup X2, um, but I won't get into that right now. Um, but that region is known as Little Egypt. So we're seeing more of the connections to this um, X turtle card. And I don't think the sphinx represents death. It sits grounded on the will. So I think it represents U.S. Americans or North Americans, since the um, North America will be like the stage for more events and is connected to the world because of its immigration history. So even though um, this portal is going to affect the whole entire world and everybody, a lot of significant events within this seven year period are going to happen in the U.S. And then that's going to affect the world as well. So the wheel started turning in 2017 and it's been weird chaos ever since. We have the nuclear threats with North Korea. We had the largest mass shooting in Vegas, extreme hurricanes, flooding. Um, we had the fires in Los Angeles area. And then we had that largest um, fire um, up north. I believe it was in Paradise. Um, we have the border crisis. We had the Me Too movement, all the political drama. We have the pandemic, the murder hornets. Um, a lot of people have been saying that time has been feeling weird. One month feels like it lasts for years. Another month seems like it goes by in like a second. And then we have this these social unrest, the protests, the riots. Um, we have the upcoming election. So we have this type of it. We're going to have these types of energies and events in the future. Um, personally, I think it will get even weirder, more supernatural events. Um, some people have joked that it's like someone is playing um, the game Jumanji, like from the movie. Um, it's like people don't know what to expect next. I'm actually reminded of the Hunger Games movie. Um, in the movie, Katniss has to survive that giant turning wheel full of obstacles that was created by the government and there was like an uprising against it um it was the moving catching fire does any of that sound familiar but anyways that this is looking at it through one lens there are other ways to look at this for instance um for those with christian knowledge um how long does the bible say tribulations would last seven years so 2017 to 2024 is about seven years. So that's one thing. Okay, so the point is this is a time to be prepared for anything and everything. So yeah, be safe and may the odds ever be in your favor.